Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to this new video about how to build a radar using an ultrasonic sensor. In the beginning, I made the mechanical part of this project, where I designed this mount for the servo motor and this holder for the ultrasonic sensor. This way, the components stay in place and the movement is smooth. After that, I 3D printed these parts. After completing the 3D printing process, I will now assemble the parts together, as you can see. This is the servo motor, I will place it in its position. Then I will fix this part onto the wooden board. I will make some holes in this board. Then I will place the sensor in its position. Then I will connect this sensor with the servo motor. Now I will make the electrical connections and install the sensor. Then I will connect the servo motor to the control board. After that, I will power the entire circuit with 5 volts. I have an external power source, so I will connect the external power source to the circuit. After setting up everything, I will program the control board so that I can move the servo motor and read the sensor's measurements. The program is as follows. We will need the servo library, then we will define this object my servo, and these variables. Trig pin and echo pin for the sensor, and the variables long duration and int distance. The distance and time values will be stored in them. Then in the void setup function, we will define trig pin as an output and echo pin as an input. Then we will activate the serial monitor so that we can read the values sent by the control board. Then we will activate pin number 8 to be the pin connected to the servo motor, so that the servo motor commands are given through it. Then in the void loop function, which repeats continuously, we will keep moving the servo motor in steps. Each step will move 15 degrees, and after each step, it will wait 30 milliseconds, then we will call the calculate distance function, which will measure the distance based on the values provided by the sensor. This is the calculate distance function. It reads the values and uses the speed of sound in the air through this formula. We can deduce the distance, and after calling this function, we store its value in the distance variable. Then we send the angle value that the servo motor is currently at. Then we send the measured distance values from the sensor and through the calculate distance function. Then a point to differentiate between the sent values. We repeat the same process here, but in reverse. Instead of starting from 0 and increasing 15 degrees, we start from 165 and decrease 15 degrees to return to the starting position. Now I will upload this program to the board. I will connect the electrical circuit to the external 5 volt power source. As you can see, the servo motor moves left and right. I will open the serial monitor to check the values it sends. As you can see, it sends the servo angle values sequentially, and the distance values measured by the sensor. Now I will download and install the processing program, which will allow me to visualize these measurements. This way, I will see the scan performed by the radar. After downloading and installing the program, I will open this file. This is the code that will allow me to visualize. Then I will run the code. It will read the values we send on the serial monitor and try to visualize them. As you can see, the orange part represents the area where something is located, while the blue part means this area is empty. Now I will place something in front of this radar, and we will see how it scans it.
Now I will add this buzzer, which will emit a buzzing sound when something is detected at a distance of less than 10 centimeters from the radar. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay connected with all new content. And share your ideas and inquiries in the comments. Until next time.